Okay, brethren, here we are. So we are in, uh, so he's giving the word. It's being spoken this by the Spirit, the Holy Ghost. And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was received up into a cloud, and two men were there. He said, Why are you gazing? Up into heaven, the same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall come in. So come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Jesus is coming back, guys. Then returned they unto Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is from Jerusalem, a Sabbath day journey. And when they were come in, they went up into an upper room where abode both Peter and James and John and Andrew and Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, the son of Alphaeus and Simon Zelotus and Judas, the brother of James. These all continued with one accord in prayer and supplication. That's like, that's almost like when Israel and Judah came together, the southern and northern king kingdom in one accord with one heart to make David king. So we do this with the holy angels who are in heaven and they obey the Father, so they are in heaven. <laughs> they were not cast down. They didn't listen to the false prophet. Praise God for that. And um, they remained in his grace and mercy. And the same way, we um, are believing and in one accord with them, agreeing that, you know, that Jesus is king and praying and that the word of God is true and faithful and so they're praying in one accord, and they have one common faith, the faith on Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Um, they received that gospel of Christ, and they were saved and sealed with the Spirit, and they stand in that um, grace, praise the Lord, uh, with, with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. They're all in one accord. So these women are with all these wonderful apostles that God chose. They are all in one accord in prayer and supplication. And in those days, Peter stood up in the midst of the disciples and said, the number of names together were about 120. We've heard of 120 many times. Men and brethren, this scripture must needs have been fulfilled, which the Holy Ghost by the mouth of David spake before concerning Judas, which was guide to them that took Jesus, for he was numbered with us and had obtained part of this ministry. So Judas received a part of the ministry. So he received that. Now this man purchased a field with the reward of iniquity and falling headlong, he burst asunder in the midst and all his bowels gushed out. And it was known in, unto all the dwellers at Jerusalem, insomuch as that field is called in their proper tongue, Aseldama, that is to say, the field of blood. For it is written in the book of Psalms, Let his habitation be desolate, and let no man dwell therein, and his bishop prick let another take. Wherefore, of these men which have command, companied with us all the time that the Lord Jesus went in and out among us, beginning from the baptism of John unto that same day that he was taken up from us, must one be ordained to be a witness with us of his resurrection. There's a witness. And they appointed two, Joseph called Barsabbas, who was surnamed Justice and Matthias. And they prayed and it said, Thou Lord, which knowest the, the hearts of all men, show whether of these two thou hast chosen that he may take part of this ministry and apostleship from which Judas by transgression fell, that he might go to his own place. He went to his own place. He fell, transgression. He had the Lord with them. Um, many, he went out from them because that he was never of them. You see how they can be taking partaking in a ministry with you but then they're not really of you there's many people that have been tares amongst the wheat or wolves in sheep's clothing who are going to go to their own place they were never a part of us and they fell 
from God's grace. And they gave because God knows the hearts of all men. Because the Lord knows the hearts of all men. Jesus knew the heart of that man. He knew he was far from him. Even though he received part of the ministry, he received some, some truth, and but he didn't believe him. And they gave forth, maybe he re believed a little bit, but not enough to the saving of his life. And they gave forth their lots, and the lot fell upon Matthias, and he was numbered with the eleven apostles. And we've been seeing a lot of eleven, and um, a lot of brothers and sisters lately. It's pretty amazing. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind that came in my house and I heard it and I heard it coming to the window. I'll never forget it as long as I live. It was amazing. And it filled all the house where they were sitting and there appeared unto them cloven tongues as of a fire and it sat upon each of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. So the Spirit gives them utterance, guys. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. Brothers and sisters, this part is so important. There were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven, every nation, tribe, and tongue, it says in the book of Revelation, will be in the kingdom. A multitude from every nation, tribe, and tongue is written in the Lamb's book of life. Let's read that again. There were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews devout men out of every nation under heaven. Now, when this was noised abroad, the multitude, you see that in Revelation, you see the multitude, um, which is in Revelation uh, 19, verse 6, I think, the multitude came together after there was a great sound from heaven, the voice of God, as we see in the first part, the Holy Ghost giving commandments and the apostles that were chosen speaking by the power of the Holy Ghost. Um, see, Jesus was speaking of that, that same power before, but he was actually the Son of God. Um, and the, the apostles, which were his chosen vessels, which were part of the church, which were the leaders of the churches, right? The elect of God. Praise the Lord. So, Devout men out of every nation were Jews. Every nation under heaven. Now, we know about the scattering of the people of God. But they were all together. Why were they all there from every nation? Well, because Rome had taken over. And Rome, there was, there was um, Rome had spread itself over the whole earth also. And at the same way, um, uh, the Jews are all over, the Israel is spread over every nation, tribe, and tongue. Now, when this was noised abroad, okay, it was noised abroad. The multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. A multitude from abroad, all over the whole earth, Jesus has a voice of many waters. It says in the scriptures that we are a sea of people. And Jesus walked on the sea. He walked on the water. Jesus walked also on the sea of people. And so when Jesus, when God speaks, it's like a voice of many waters. And it goes abroad throughout the whole earth. A noise abroad. The multitude came together and were confounded. Because that every man heard them speak in his own language. So if the Holy Ghost is speaking through you, understand that just like when Jesus spoke, that centurion Roman guard fell backwards. In the same way, we need to understand that, or one of the, it was one of them in the um, Garden of Gethsemane. Um, we need to understand that his voice is powerful. 
when it's by the Spirit. Right here, the Spirit. The Spirit gave him utterance. That's the same as the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of God. Praise the Lord. The Spirit of truth in whom the world cannot receive. Um, and so we're, got, we're confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. So people from every nation came. That's under heaven. There were Jerusalem, there were Jews in Jerusalem, and then devout men out of every nation under heaven came to hear in their own language. And this is what they say. And they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are not all these which speak Galileans? And how hear we every man in our own tongue wherein we were born? So this is a language. This is their dialect, their tongue. Parthians and Medes and Elamites and the dwellers in Mesopotamia and in Judea and in Cappadocia and Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia in Egypt and in the parts of Libya about Cyrene and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes, Cretes and Arabians, we do hear them speak in our tongues the wonderful works of God. Praise you, God. So we see all these different languages. So are Medes not able to hear the word of God? No. Parthians? No. Mesopotamians? Asians? Rome? Romans? Jews? Proselytes? You know, every nation under, under heaven can hear the word of God. And I believe just like the apostles, when they... The, the Spirit gave them utterance in the same way, and, and the, the devout men heard out of every nation under heaven. I believe when that same Spirit speaks, that over every nation under heaven, men, devout men out of every nation under heaven are hearing the word of God. The multitude is hearing the Spirit, brothers and sisters, is my point. From those who got the utterance and speak it, Everyone's being confounded right now. Everyone's going, whoa, what is going on? I'm sure they're hearing it from all over the earth. These are all different tongues. And so then there's a multitude, it says, a multitude. And in the book of Revelation, the same thing happens. There is a multitude that comes. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, what meaneth this? Others mocking said, these men are full of new wine. So they're mocking. Now the mockers and scoffers, it says in the Bible, their bonds would be tighter. They're bound, they're, they would be more bound. So people who are mocking and scoff. If you're one speaking by the Spirit of God and you get mocked, just rejoice because you're taking shame amongst men for claiming the name of Jesus. Jesus said that anyone who says his name among men, he will, he will um, introduce to the um, Father and the angels. But anyone who's ashamed of his name in front of men, he will not introduce him to the Father and the holy angels. And they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another and mocking with new wine. But, but Peter standing up with the eleven lifted up his voice and said unto them, Ye men of Judea, and all ye that dwell at Jerusalem, be this known unto you, and hearken to my words. For these are not drunken as ye suppose, seeing it is but the third hour of the day. And the third hour is, uh, I believe, in the morning, right? Is that nine o'clock in the morning? Oh man, I just realized something. Anyways, but this is that which was spoken by the prophet Joel. And it shall come to pass in the last days, saith God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. And on my servants and on my handmaidens, I know that part of the scripture, on my handmaidens, I will pour out um, in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show wonders in heaven above, and signs in the earth beneath, blood and fire and vapor of smoke. 
The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and notable day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass, it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words, Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs which God did by him in the midst of you, because Jesus walks in the midst of the candlesticks, as ye yourselves also know. That's in the book of Revelation. Him being delivered by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of God, ye have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain, whom God hath raised up, having loosed the pains of death, he did not see corruption in the grave, it says in the scriptures, because it was not possible that he should be holden of it. For David speaketh concerning him, I foresaw the Lord always before my face, for he is on my right hand, that I should not be moved. Now, brothers and sisters, I believe that whenever people who have the Holy Spirit are speaking, mankind, the kind that ad, that's like Adam's is a man, I believe that because that same word of God spoke from the beginning, that spoke from the beginning, when he speaks, these men from all over every nation under he heaven, is, they're starting to hear it. Because in, in the old man, Adam, um, that man heard the word of God. He knew the word of God, but had listened to the the woman had been beguiled and they ate of that tree that they were commanded not to eat of. And so in the same way, you see the apostles speak with these fiery tongues and all the people of the nations, all the man, men of the nations are being, um, being moved because who's their head? The, the creator of heaven and earth the one that breathed life into Adam and he became a living soul. That son of man, son of God, and all man who's the son of man, you know, they're being moved by the spirit. Even in the old, uh, what did he call him? He said, new wine skin, old wine skin cannot hold the new. That's why you need Jesus Christ who is the new wineskin, the new, we need new uh, coverings for the wine inside of us because they can't hold it in their old, but they're hearing the word of God, that same word that spoke in the garden at, they're hearing him call them out of darkness because the light has come and the Lord Jesus. And so I believe that even all of man, they cannot deny this power and move of God. I believe many come to the understanding when the, the Spirit speaks, because faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. When the Word of God speaks, He's like a multitude speaking, and He's speaking in one accord through all the saints over all four corners of the earth, in every nation, tribe, and tongue under heaven. And so because he's speaking while we're here on earth, New Jerusalem that's come from the Lord, the, that spirit, that, that fire, and I can feel my heart is burning within me right now just speaking this truth because I know it's his truth that he wants you to hear because I get talents and I give them to you. I get that Holy Ghost commandment to speak and I speak, but it's not me that's speaking, it's Christ in me, the hope of glory, praise the Lord. And he's the one who is that new tabernacle that raised from the dead, the temple of the living God, that God, that Jesus can hold that Holy Ghost. And he is formed in me because I listen to his word. I, I, I got cleansed by the word and he refreshes me sometimes. It says in the Bible that at the times of refreshing shall come or when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord and the word speaks and, and that is a, a cleansing also. So because I'm in him and he's in me, I'm able to have that fire come. We're able to get that Holy Ghost. We're supposed to be baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins and the Holy Ghost for the spirit of truth because you need that truth. Praise the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the Father and the Holy Ghost, you know, so we're seeing what's going on here. It's pretty awesome. If you have the Son, you have the Father. But Simon the sorcerer, 
had Jesus and he was still in the gall of bitterness and bonds of iniquity. Why? Because he was leaning on his own understanding. Because he did not renew his mind to put on a mind of Christ. He did not have the mind of Christ. And so he was not baptized in the Holy Ghost yet. He didn't understand. He needed to walk with the apostles for a while to learn of God. He needed to spend time in the scriptures to, to learn who God was. And he need, his heart needed to be right first to get that Holy Ghost. Because some people got the Holy Ghost right away, got the, baptized in the name of Jesus. And then they said, hey, let's pray that they get the Holy Ghost. Well, those people's hearts were 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 right with God. They entered in as a little child. They weren't proud. They didn't try to sell the Holy Ghost. See, God's going to resist those that want to sell the Holy Ghost. So that's why many of these people, like uh, Kenneth Copeland, he's a perfect example. He looks like a serpent. Why? He may have the name of Jesus, but he's in the gall of bitterness and the bonds of iniquity with the spirit of iniquity between his eyes. He has become polluted by something else because he was bound by Satan. His heart was away from God, far away from God. He was claiming the name of Jesus. The Bible says even the devils believe and do tremble. The devils have to obey God. When the word of God spoke, Jesus spoke. He said, come out of that man. He says, what's your name? He says, I am a, we are legion. My name is legion. It was a legion of demons, a legion, a league of demons had gotten into that man. They, they have no body, so why do they seek? They seek a body. They seek rest. They seek to go in a body because they're like clouds without water. They're like, oh, hold on just a second. I don't know if this is going to be saved. I just dropped my finger. <laughs> they're like clouds without water, and they are like smoke. What is it? it? It came to me just now, and it's I've heard it before, but I think I'm just getting the understanding that the smoke of the devils um, is because they had a fire. They were in amongst the fiery stones. They were amongst the fire of God, the Word of God, the Holy Ghost, that fiery tongues that the apostles received in this chapter that we're reading. They had that, and they left their first estate. And so they're held in chains and bondage uh, until the judgment. So when they're here, they're like smoke. When they're in hell, which is where they're speaking from, they're in a the fire of judgment, a different fire than the Holy Ghost being spoken because our heart is right, so our heart gets the fire. And so the apostles said when, whenever he, that he was walking with them, after he had ascended, they said, didn't our hearts just burn in, inside of us? They were lamps. The word of God is a lamp and a light unto my feet. Praise the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so we see the difference between the smoke and when they're in hell, they're on fire, but they're just smoke. They don't have any water. That's why they seek a body, because they need a body to have water, because they don't have the refreshing that comes from God, because they are devils. Okay, that, I hope that makes sense to the brethren, because they're the walking dead. They did not believe God, they did wickedly in their life, or whatever it was, they are evil, their hearts are evil. And God knows their hearts, and so he will put you either in that place or in the kingdom. And some in heaven. That heaven is righteousness, peace, and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit, that's righteousness. He is righteous. He is peace. He is joy. He is the Prince of Peace. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Such great news. Oh, my goodness. And so... um. The sun shall be turned, so we're talking about the great, okay, the great and notable day of the Lord come, and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. See, they can't call on the name of the Lord unless they are hearing the word of the Lord. So I believe like that multitude in the same way in that part in, in Revelation, the end, the time that we're in now, 
Revelation 19, 6, in the first part of that verse in 19, 1, the voice comes from heaven. That's in heaven. See, that voice is in heaven. And we are sealed in Christ in the Lord in heaven. So that voice comes from heaven in Revelation chapter 19, verse 1. And in Revelation 19, verse 6, it says that the multitude came together in the same way you see in the pre, in the page before this a multitude came together they heard them speaking throughout the earth <laughs> and that's probably why there was a great quake right because <laughs> well the devils hear and they will tremble they will tremble at the name of Jesus everything above the earth and everything under the earth is going to bow at the name of Jesus. It's absolutely amazing. No flesh will glory in the presence of the Lord. Not even our flesh will glory in the presence of the Lord. Let's just know that. Jesus, we men of Israel, ye men of Israel. So he's talking to men of Israel and he's talking to this multitude and he's talking to these Jews. Hear these words. So he's calling them all men of Israel because when you're grafted into the vine, Jesus, you're grafted in Israel. You have to do the same things that they do, like the apostles. When you they were, went to the Gentiles and to the Jews, they were both grafted into Jesus. You have to be part of him to be part of Israel, whether you're a Jew or a Gentile. And here's proof that just having the blood of Abraham does not ensure you to be part of Israel. The prophet said that if you don't listen to this man the son of man that comes you will be cut off from israel and judas iscariot was an israelite i chose 12 of you and one of you is a devil that means he has no place in the kingdom of god he went to his place the son of perdition went to his place. So don't think that because you have the blood of Israel or because you're some race or whatever of Abraham, that you're going to be inheriting the promises of Abraham. Because if you're like Judas Iscariot, if you're a, a spy, if you're a murderer, a liar, a deceiver, a sorcerer, you're going to go into your place, which is hell. If you are listening to the serpent, you're going to go into your place where your king is of the bottomless pit. Well, your worm will die not and you will burn forever and ever because you become like your father, mm -hmm. the devil, a serpent, a dragon, a beast in the field, taking on the image of the beast. You don't want to be like that. So this word is being spoke because we're learning how Israel is restored, the kingdom given back to Israel. And you'll know them by their fruit. They killed the native Indians, destroyed the land, and destroyed the natives, and did not help them. They were not all part of Israel. Some of the people that came with them were of another fold that came in and killed the native Indians. That's their fruit. And the prophets, that's their fruit. And Cain killed Abel, that's Cain's fruit. His work, the wages of his sin is death. Their work is death. Trying to clean yourself of sin, that's dead works. Trying to do baptisms, that's dead works. You have to have the work of the Spirit by faith on Jesus Christ. Whew, the Holy Spirit is powerful today. Ye men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God. He's a man. <laughs> His number is seven, though, because he's a God. Praise the Lord. He's the Son of Man, the Lord in heaven. This is awesome. 
but he's also got the Holy Ghost in him. He's got glory. He has the glory he had with the Father from the beginning. Praise the Lord among you by miracles and wonders and signs which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know. Him being delivered by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of God, ye have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain, whom God hath raised up, having loosed the pains of death because it was not possible that he should be holden of it. For David speaketh concerning him, I foresaw the Lord always before my face, for he is on my right hand, that I should not be moved. Praise the Lord. Therefore did my heart rejoice and my tongue was glad. Moreover, also my flesh shall rest in hope. We rest in the common faith of Jesus Christ. We rest in hope of the Lord. We rest knowing that we are in the Sabbath, which is a day of rest, which Jesus is Lord over the Sabbath. So we will rest. We are the free woman, not the bond woman. We are not Hagar. We are Sarah. Jesus gave me a new name, Sarah. God renamed me. And, my, and the Father renamed me, gave me a new name, Sarah, which means grace, which is the free woman. I am free. And if God has set you free, if Jesus set you free, you are free indeed. If the Spirit of the Lord is with you, there is, that's the Spirit of liberty. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So I have the grace of God and liberty of the Spirit. Praise the Lord. But I'm not going to use that liberty to go and beat up on my brothers and sisters or go beat up on everyone else. I'm going to let the Holy Spirit speak whenever he wants to beat up on people. <laughs> <laughs> with the word because remember the word judges the world at the end he says the words i speak will judge the world at the end are we at the end i'd have to say yes he's restoring the kingdom back to israel and his word is like a fire in the book of revelation and that word is judging Praise the Lord. Because thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer the, thine holy one to see corruption. He's the holy one. Thou hast made known to me the ways of life. He made known to him the ways of life. There is a way which seemeth right unto man, and it's the way of destruction. And then there is a narrow way, which is the way of of life the ways of life that jesus spoke by commandment to the apostles of the holy ghost through the holy ghost men and brethren let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch david that is that he is both dead and buried and his sepulcher is with us unto this day therefore being a prophet and knowing that god had sworn with an oath to him that of the fruit the fruit of his loins that's like a woman has a baby. She's, he's a fruit of his loins. According to the flesh, he would raise up Christ to sit on his throne. If you don't want him reigning over you, if you don't want his word reigning over you, that's fine. There's a king that wants to reign over you in the bottomless pit. And that's where you will be is in the bottomless pit. That's where you are is in the bottomless pit. False prophets and unbelievers are already judged because the prince of this world is already judged. Like Pharaoh in his army, they were already judged for their unbelief. That's where they were because their words were against God. Their testimony was making God a liar. And what happened to them? They died. Just like God said, he seen this before spake of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul was not left in hell. Neither his flesh did see corruption. And I want to speak on that. Jesus said to the man next to him, today you will be with me in paradise. Jesus went to paradise. He took the man next to him to paradise. This Jesus hath God raised up where of we all are witnesses therefore being by the right hand of god exalted and having received of the father the promise of the holy ghost that was a promise given to 
Israel, that they would they, they would be um, restored. Their kingdom would be restored back. And when you get the Holy Ghost, you have the mind of Christ. Your kingdom is restored back because it's restored back because your your land, your heart has been given to God. You're restoring. You're returning to God. You're returning. Repenting is returning to God and believing on the Son of the Living God for the remission of your sins. You have been restored to God. Now you're listening to His commandments. And they're not burdensome by the Spirit, by the Holy Ghost. You are worshiping Him and enjoying your life that He gives you and doing His will as His Spirit speaks. And everybody has different jobs. Not everybody does what I do. I don't do what everybody else in the body of Christ does. We all have our own works. Anyways, um, and so we are in Israel. We are Israel. Praise the Lord. Because who is glorified in us? The Lord of hosts. Holy Ghost glorified in us. God will be glorified in Israel. Praise the name of our Father in heaven and the Lord Jesus Christ. He hath shed forth this, which ye now see and hear. For David is not ascended into the heavens, but he saith himself, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand until I make thy foes thy footstool. The earth is God's footstool. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made that same Jesus, whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. He is our God. He is the word of God that spoke from the foundation of the world. Now, when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent, and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. It's a gift. He doesn't give that gift to a proud, covetous, whoremonging, sorcerer heart. As you saw, Simon did not receive that gift because his heart was not right with God. He may have had the name of Jesus for the mission of his sins, but he was in the gall of bitterness and bonds of iniquity. Those who want to do sorcery, they're in the gall of bitterness and the bonds of iniquity, and I guarantee that they have not received the gift of the Holy Ghost. Now, I pray that all brethren and their children, their families, and all their elderly would receive the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus, I pray that they would receive the Holy Ghost, that God would pour out his spirit on all flesh, as he said, that would lead them to all truths, and that they would no longer have their land corrupted by the enemy coming in and corrupting their mind and all that, that their heart would be given to God, that God would give them a new heart and a new mind. And what is the heart that's burning Okay, the heart, the, the Holy Spirit, God gives us a, a heart of flesh. It's his heart, a uh, heart for him. It's, it's him building us, and it comes by faith, by hearing the word of God. Praise the Lord. And so that heart, it's so awesome. For the promise is unto you and to your children. He's talking to all these people that were, was a multitude of every nation, tribe, and tongue, under heaven, or actually it just, yeah, I guess it was tribe and tongue because they were all different tribes. They are all different nations and different tongues. So we see that in the book of Revelation. But we also see in the book of Revelation a specific people, tribes, the children of the tribes of Israel, specific people 